Hi, this is Dave Bennett from Website Marketing Solutions, and I wanted to show you something I thought was pretty neat. Guy came out with some uh, a particular question that's pretty custom, and I want to show you just a wild way of handling something you wouldn't normally know how to deal with. Uh, it was just interesting. So for those of you who've been on our site recently, you're aware in our video training series that we have something called the T-Fan. It's a final answer now, and the point of that is to teach you how to automate about anything online 10,000 times faster. If you pick up web macros or web scraper plus uh, you have full access to the t-fan and for folks who are saying well where can you do that you know if you go to the main page and you see strong tools well, if you click on that then right here install web scraper plus um, you know get the website marketing solutions packages you know and you click on that and that's a page where you can get involved anyway that's the t-fan so there are a number of members who've gotten up inside the forums and they've been studying away for people who come to our forums if you don't log in you won't see anything there so you'll think maybe there's nothing there you have to get authorized to be able to see inside the forums and then you'll see there's a ton of stuff <clears throat> for and so if you cannot log in you'll just see there's nothing in there there's nothing in there well there's a lot in there once you log in <laughs> you sort of realize it so anyway yeah we got a lot of videos going over the TFAM for the people who've been curious how that's been coming along you know here was the first set of videos we had just a primer HTML training all your all you need to know about HTML uh, to be able to pull things off you don't need to create it just need to be able to recognize it and then there's the first set of videos and then it goes on okay to the newer ones that came out afterwards second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth this <laughs> is just going on like crazy and we've got example packages we put the full BP blitz package in here complete with the auto replier uh, the one I built that ran out 15,000 contacts an hour that's up in here as training for people there's the YouTube submitter I built and I put it up because somebody asked about it and anyway one thing I want to show you and here's the Craigslist blitz package for gathering emails off of Craigslist at full speed anyway we've been going through a ton of stuff and as you can see by the views that have come through on the forums uh, people have been following along you know they're they're keeping up with the videos for the most part um, there aren't too many questions sometimes there are replies as people are saying hey what about this what about that whatever the case is uh, but they've been covering ground and keeping up and I really love it things have been going well well one guy came up with a question just recently said you know he's hi guys I have an existing large list of YouTube usernames I extracted a while ago currently saved as a CSV file he's got like a hundred thousand plus usernames off of YouTube <clears throat> He's interested in auto contacting this list using Web Scraper Plus Web Macros, which can be done. As you kind of saw in the YouTube video that we put out on the main site, for those who haven't seen it, by the way, take a look at this one. And this is the kind of thing that was inspired by that idea here the auto reply package for YouTube subscribers. It's kind of an interesting thing to watch. Anyway. Uh, his thing was this he um, he's trying to build an auto contact application but ran into problems what importing his list that is trying to move files from Excel into SQL directly is tricky 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 and so his question is how in the world do you do it you know and that's his please help if anyone can build this thing so I can import my list into it and then be able to auto contact with a personal message I'd, I'd be very interested fair enough and I told him something to check out where I put up the YouTube training thread and the day-to-day -day forum so on and so forth and that just gets back to here there's the day-to-day -day forum and there's the YouTube training package the submitter and I got that thing up and explained to people how it works and so on and then there's the package itself and people can actually download it and start using the thing okay so anyway his question was good how does he get his information from from his Excel file a CSV file in his case it's not really an Excel file a CSV file but that's what everyone thinks of it as being and how does he actually get it up into SQL let's deal with it I asked him to send me a sample of it so he did YouTube leads one whatever that XLS and so if I open it he that's exactly what he did he got the usernames okay just simply usernames how many did he get on this he said he got a hundred thousand plus I'm sure he did here's ten thousand of them right here ten thousand twenty four actually and he's just trying to figure out how to get this into SQL because if he can get it up into a database in here then web macros can read those entries and it can actually start replying to all those guys with his message 
His question is how to get it from Excel into one of the databases or a database. And I'm going to show you how you do that. Nifty trick. Now, those of you know, Web Scraper Plus scrapes HTML pages. So where we're sitting right now is with an XLS. So the first thing we want to do is actually convert this thing into a HTML page. And we have to have a start and an end tag, a way of scraping the individual datas out of here, right? The, the entries, these guys. So how in the heck do we do that? Well, I'm going to show you. So we're going to, first thing we're going to do is save this as a CSV file, okay? Yeah, okay, so he sent me an XLS. I'm going to convert it to a CSV anyway on my desktop. YouTube leads one CSV, fine. <clears throat> and I save it, and yes, I want to keep it in this format. And then now guess what I'm going to do? I'm going you know, to just kind of make sure. I don't need to save it again. I just did. So it is right here, okay, this guy right here. Now, I'm going to work on this thing. I'm going to do a couple of things with it. So I'm going to stick it in its own folder. I'll just call it Big List, you know, <clears throat> and I'll drag it in. <laughs> that way, things I do with it is all going to be right here. Okay, perfect. I can deal with it here. Now, I'm going to open this back up, and you're going to see some wild magic here. Uh, okay, inside Web Scraper Plus, you need something to come before and something to come after in order to scrape what comes between. Right? That's the stuff we teach. Everyone knows that. That's inside the T-Fan. So here we go. I'm going to put something before. It's at least three characters long. You know, it could be two. I'll go with three. Because I need an initialization field that's unique enough. And then I need something to be the starter field, or the start for the field. And then I need something in the end. That's different, right? It, that way the initialization field isn't confused. I can't have, you know, open carrot B and then an open carrot B on this end, or it's going to be double entried all the way down. So I'm going to have a different thing at the end than I have at the beginning. Piece of cake. Now, just to make it easier to see this, because if I go moving this thing down, it's going to over or read right over the text. Let me just extend this out. Okay, now I got to extend it out. It's out far enough for all the entries in here. Should be anyway. All right, here we go. I'm going to copy this because I need this at the beginning of everything. Now that I have it copied, and you can see that with the dotted line, I'm going to bring this all the way down, and I'm going to make sure I'm on the bottom entry here, and I'm going to shift, hold down the shift key, and click to highlight all this. That way I can paste. There. I just got that open care B thing copied all the way down. I'm going to do the same with this one, because I want that also to run all the way down the page. Uh, this is just wild. Here we go. Boom. Shift click, and then paste. Bam. Now, there I go. I got this whole thing set up. And I guess it's all right. Whatever. Uh, all these should be good. Now this. Yeah, I was just wondering what that was all about. It doesn't matter because the alignment stuff is all going to be cut out when we move this thing to text. It doesn't matter. So anyway, check this out. Here we go. I got all this done. Now what am I going to do with it? I'm going to close it. Okay. And yeah, I want to save the changes. And... Actually, let me just, you know, I could do it this way. Yes, I want to overwrite it. Fine, yes, and yes, I want to keep it in CSV. All right, now check this out. I want to go ahead and rename this thing to an HTML page. Whoops. Isn't that just wild? So now I have an HTML page. Except it's, it's a pretty garbagey HTML page. You know, it doesn't have an HTML tag to open or a body or anything else. Uh, but there it is. It's actually an HTML page. Notice all the commas, though. It's got all the commas because of the way it does comma separation. So the first thing I want to do now is this. I want to go ahead and open this thing with, with Notepad, and I want to get rid of all the commas at a replace. You don't need to. I could use the commas as part of the scraping field, but I'm just showing you more stuff to be able to constantly think outside the box to do things. Again, this might sound wild and crazy, but when you learn it, it's not. When you're inside the T-Fan learning this stuff, all of this makes sense. And then beyond that, it's a cool project. He's got over 100,000 names, and he wants to be able to reply to all these guys, and that's what we're going to do, actually. We're going to make it possible.